Hi all, this is Will Wyvern. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about tarot readings. Um, this is how I learned tarot. This is my method. I just want to share with you so you can get your uh, ideas on how you want to do your tarot experience. Um, these are my thoughts, my opinions, my beliefs. This is what works for me. I'm just sharing with you so you can find what works for you. Now, to be honest, the way I started in tarot, I was 20 something years old. I was in Spencer's Gifts in the mall and I saw this tarot deck sitting on the shelf and I thought, ooh, that'd be a cool way to pick up chicks. Learn how to do tarot readings. And so I got into it with the bad intentions, but the more I started reading the little booklet and started playing with the cards and trying to practice, I felt something developing. I felt I was getting attuned to the deck. I kind of knew what the deck was trying to say and it was magical. It was something very, very important to me and I felt the need to learn more and I started taking it more seriously. And I started to talk to people. I started to seek a mentor. I started to read more books about it and I got into tarot reading I got into oracle cards, I got into Ouija board, all types of divination. But let me just stick with tarot cards for today. Now, the first deck I bought was the Rider Waite deck. That's the deck I think everybody should have. I, I think everyone should start with, learn the basics, learn the, you know, the major, the minor arcana, learn the different suits, what they mean. Um, understand what the basic tarot readings are, what the basic cards mean, what the basic definitions that are accepted, accepted by, you know, 95% of the people. Now, there are people who will do only literal translations. They will stick to the book, to what the book says this card means in any situation, no matter what, no matter where. When I do a tarot reading, I adapt. I adapt to the situation. And I'm gonna show you a clip later kind of explaining that. But to me, every card is different for every person, every reading, every situation. I might do a reading for you today and we'll pick three cards that mean one thing. Tomorrow, the same reading, the same cards, but it might mean something totally different. That is adapting to the situation. That's what I do. I am into intuition. I let my mind wander. I look at the card, what it means to me, and that meaning may change. I may look at one card and it means something, but then if I'm sitting with another person, I might get a whole nother feeling. I might get a whole nother interpretation of that card. And that's about being open to intuition. And I believe in my thoughts that tarot cards are a gateway. We're opening a gateway to communication to either our deity, our ancestors, um, our spirit God, our spirit animal, whatever. We're opening that gateway up to communicate. We're telling our ancestors, our deity, whatever, we're telling them that we want to receive whatever message they want to give to us. So when we lay out the cards, of course, I believe they have some control over what cards are played, what cards are laid down. If you've done tarot readings, you know when you're laying out your cards, there are certain methods and certain practices on how to lay out, you know, in order which way. But sometimes, you know, you may lay down a card and by the book you're supposed to put it at the top of the, you know, the pile or you're supposed to put it crossways or whatever. But you hear that little voice saying, no, put this card to the left or put this card at the bottom and go with your intuition. Be willing to adapt. Don't fight that message you're receiving. Be open and receptive to it. So when you're doing your tarot readings, let yourself be controlled. 
Let yourself be open to what the spirit is trying to tell you, what your ancestors are trying to tell you, what your deity is trying to tell you, because they're sending the message. It's not you looking at the card saying, oh, you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to do this. You're opening yourself to that guidance, that message that's coming from the other realm, from the other side, from the other sphere of, of existence. Then you got to let that flow through. You got to be open to that communication. You have to be receptive. That's how I do tarot readings. And another thing that I do is I let the person I'm doing tarot reading, I let them pick the deck. I might have three or four decks laid out and I'll say, which deck speaks to you? Which deck are you attracted to or you feel a pull? And that's the deck I read from. And again, you need to, you know, read the little booklet that comes with the deck, get an idea of what the creator of that deck is trying to get across, but be open and be adaptive to what might change in that unique situation. Because every time you sit down with somebody and pull out a deck and start laying out the cards, every situation is going to be unique. That is why, and I don't mean to offend anyone, I don't do readings online or over the computer or over the phone. I need to be with that person to feel their energy, to feel that message, to have them connect with the cards and feel that connection. That's just for me. I know there are some people who do fantastic readings online. I know there are some people who do incredible divination online, but it's not for me. For me, I need to be with a person and everybody, everybody's different. So that's real basic how I do tarot readings, how I do tarot. If anything, take away from this, be open. Learn the basics, but be open to interpretation. And I'll, I'll, let me just say this one thing. There are times I've, I've laid down a card and I know the book says, oh, this means there's going to be negative change or there's going to be uh, income of resources or this means they need to break away from bad habits you know, whatever the book says. But when I look at the card, I might see something totally different. I might see, instead of a sword meaning cutting clean of something or cutting through something, it might mean, you know, fighting off something. It might mean standing up to something. Let yourself be open to what comes across in that situation. But... Let me go ahead and show the uh, little um, example I have on how cards are different, how decks are different, and how you need to be open to interpretation. And I'm going to cut away to that real quick, and then I'll be back. Okay, so here is an example of three different tarot decks. The Dragon Tarot, the Rider Waite Tarot, and the Di Diablo Tarot. Now, the cards I picked were the Two of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Four of Cups. But even you can see this dragon tarot, instead of saying pentacles, they say coins. So some decks, they'll use different words. Instead of wands, they might say staves. Instead of pentacles, they might say coins. Every deck has a chance to be a little bit different. They'll still have the major cards, the minor cards, the four different suits. But you can see the pictures are very different. And each deck comes with their own little booklet explaining what the artist or what the creator of the deck is trying to put across. So that's why I recommend read the book, study the cards, see what the artist or the creator intended, but still be flexible enough to where you can draw your own conclusions, you can draw your own ideas and thoughts from each card, now you look at the Hermit on each one of these. Like the Hermit for the Dragon Tarot says it means withdrawing to reconsider or to um, reevaluate things. With the Rider Waite deck, it says it's more about prudence. You're, you're staying out of the situation. You're just watching. You're seeing what happens. And the same thing with the Diablo deck. The Hermit says it's more about solitude. 
you're sitting down, you're away from everybody else, you're just kind of thinking about what's going on. So look at the card, see what the book says, what the artist is trying to convey, and then draw your own conclusions. What do you see in each card? What do you see that's different? Like here you see the dragon is down below with the four cups above. Here are the guy sitting under the tree, the three cups in front of him, one is being offered to him. Here, the person sitting in contemplation, meditation, with the four cups in front of him. See, each deck has their own meaning, each card has its own meaning. Be open to interpretation. Welcome back. Um, just let me wrap up. That was a brief example of how cards will be different, how I like using different tarot decks for different situations. I might make another one talking about oracle decks. Cause that's a totally different thing. But again, be open to what the spirit, your ancestors, your deity, what they're trying to cut, you know, the message they're trying to send. And if you have any comments, any ideas, suggestions, or what your beliefs and thoughts are, put them in the comments. Let me know because I love hearing from you guys. I love talking, but I love hearing input back. So as always, this is Will Wyvern. Thank you for checking out my channel. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you.